Hi, my name is Diego, and in this video, I'm going to try to win the lottery with Grasshopper. As you probably know, Grasshopper is an amazing software for geometry and complex structures on all, and all these kind of amazing parametric systems. But it's also a software that deals really well with data management and numbers. I'm gonna play Bonolordo because basically it's the cheapest one in Spain. The probabilities to win one lotto are very small ones. Okay, it's a game where we have there are forty nine numbers and we have to win the six numbers that come out. The probabilities are calculated or evaluated as following. So the first number has six opportunities out of forty nine numbers. The second number, as we have already one out, has five out of forty eight. The third. 4 out of 47, etc., till 6 numbers. If we evaluate that expression, the result is that we have a probability of winning the lottery of 0 0.0000000007, or what is the same, 1 out of 14 million, more or less. That's not much. So let's see what happens. This is the webpage of the Spanish Lottery. For example, we can find Euro Millones Primitiva Mono Loro. Okay, it's one with a lot of money, a lot of millions, and so on. We're gonna focus on uh, Bono Loro, basically because it is the cheapest one. Only for 0 0.5 euro, half a euro, uh, we can make one bet for one day. We can bet from Monday to Saturday. So that's what we're gonna do, basically, because I have no time to be every day changing the numbers and so on. So we're gonna bet, make the same bets for the whole week. The important thing, what you need if you want to try this at your home, is to find out where the statistics are. The statistics show us how many times each number has been awarded, has been selected. The numbers go from 1 to 49 total number of times that the number was selected, how many times was in 2019 and how many in 2020. So what we have to do is to just select the statistics, Ctrl C to copy and paste the uh, numbers, the statistics in an Excel spreadsheet. Paste or Ctrl V the statistics. So in the first column we'll have the numbers from 1 to 49 and then the totals uh, 2019 and 2020. The next step is giving a proper name to the file and to the sheet. So, rename, or is rename, change name, let's call it just one, okay? And the file will be saved as Ponolodo. First thing that we need is to download a nice app or plugin called Lunchbox. You can find it in uh, Food for Rhino. It has a lot of interesting utilities and tools, but the only one that we're gonna need is an Excel reader tool. Here we go. It has three inputs, if we want or not, so it's a boolean, true or false, to read the Excel data, the path in our computer, and the name of the sheet. If we feed properly the three inputs, the output the Excel data, all the data that we had will be here. It will be split into four lists. The first list goes from 1 to 49, so the first column we had with the numbers. The second list was the total. The third was the awarded numbers in uh, 2019. And the last list, or the fourth column, were the numbers awarded or the times that the numbers were awarded in uh, 2020. With the explode tree component, we can split and or separate all those lists, match outputs, the four of them. Bounce component to the output with all the times that the numbers were awarded. With the panel, we can see that the number that less times was selected or awarded was 844. And the one that more times was, it was 955. So there is not a big difference. 
and in the future it should tend to be equal so all the numbers should appear the same amount of times i have to say i'm not an expert on probability or statistics but there is something called the law of large numbers it means that if you repeat an experiment a large number of times and average the result what you obtain should be close to the expected value means that if all the balls of the numbers are the same size same weight exactly the same they should appear the same amount of times in a large number of repetitions we're going to find out the numbers that are most likely to come out since historically they are the ones that have come out the most but this year they are the least okay there is a component this is the key the set intersection component compares two sets outputting the unique objects present in both sets set a contains a list of numbers that have recently came out in 2020 and set b contains a list of numbers that have come out the most historically the sort list component will sort the numbers from 1 to 49 that are in the zero output that goes to values according to the times that they were selected historically in the output number one or in 2020 in the output number three so in the outputs of sort list we'll have the number sorted from less times to more times that they were awarded or selected so number 43 was the number that was less times selected historically and 31 was the number that was less times selected this year we're gonna reverse the first of the lists to get first the numbers that were more times selected historically and values a reverse list right click on it reverse list so 33 now is the, the number that was more times selected historically we could say that is the historic winner if we put both lists into the set intersection component as you can see here we have 49 numbers 49 numbers the result is the same 49 numbers in another order so what we need is to see if the most awarded number in history is also the less awarded in 2020 if it is not then we will make another group with two numbers the two most awarded in history and the two less awarded in 2020 if they appear one of them is in is common on those two groups it will come out as output from the set intersection as we don't need just one we need six because Bonoloro works with uh, six numbers we're gonna make these groups from zero it's time bigger so the intersection result will give us a uh, till six numbers for that we need a split list component now we have two proper sets of numbers in the first set we have the only the number 33 and in the second set 31 33 was the most awarded in history 31 the less awarded in 2020 okay as they are not the same one they it does not appear in this panel so we're gonna make our list a bit bigger now we have two numbers two numbers nothing in here because there are no numbers in common but when we have sets of five numbers we see that the number 22 was one of the five most awarded in history but this year has not appeared a lot a little bit right so this 22 now is one of our selected numbers for the for the lottery so the only thing that we have to do is to make the sets larger until we get here our six winning numbers those are just for fun we're gonna compare our system with uh, some random numbers we're gonna get with grasshopper so in the set menu there is a random here the Schrodinger's cat uh, that uh, will provide us like uh, random numbers for the lottery the range by default 0 to 1 we're going to establish the new range from 1 to 
49, because those are the numbers on the lottery. The amount of uh, numbers that we want, as now is just one, is 38. By the way, we want integer numbers, right? So we have only just one number, random number from 0 to 49, but we need six. So six numbers. And finally, because all of us will have the same uh, exact numbers, and so it will be not that that random, we're going to add a seed. The seed is just an integer number that modifies the results entered into the algorithm of the random engine and modifies the result. So we're going to type like today's date, that is September 28th, 2020. This goes here. And we have our list of random numbers. I mean, these numbers are supposed to have the same probabilities than the others. First column, the algorithm we have just made, so 41, 22, 22 27, and 19. Second column, we come from the random, 46, 14, 14, 6, 43, 3, and 24. And finally, let's make also one like more like a feeling. Okay, so for example, number three, I like it. Number seven, also one of my favorite numbers. Um, 21st, my birthday. 28th, my mom's birthday. Uh, 39, my age. And 17, in honor to cups. That's it. And we cannot forget that we want to play the whole week. These are the three bets and uh, the dates from 28th September to the 3rd October. Okay, here we are one week later and we're gonna check out if the numbers uh, of the week are uh, similar to the numbers that we had. Okay, I'm gonna make a fast summary in order not to make very large this video. So on Monday, the 28th, nothing, not in neither of those uh, three combinations. On Tuesday nothing, on Wednesday nothing, but wait for it, on Thursday, look at this, 22, it's here, 27, it's here, and 31, it's also here, in the logic that we made with Grasshopper. It's not that much, I mean, when we have three numbers, it's the minimum amount of numbers that we have to guess to get any award, in this case it's only 4 euro, it's not that much. But imagine that I win the, the biggest prize, I will not be doing this video, for sure. <laughs> and uh, so it's gonna be four euro. Yeah, there is nothing else, not in, in either of them, not in random, not the favorite numbers, nothing. The only thing that there is like a refund or reimbursement number, there's zero, and uh, that is my number, that is an automatic number that you get, okay? So it's gonna be also 1.5 euro more, so a total of 5.5, we spent it 9 euro, so maybe it was not worthy, but if we would have just played the logic ones, we would have won something, a little bit, okay? And now we're going to the lottery administration with the ticket to check if we have won or we have not. If you want to do it, remember that it's just a luck game. It's not related with logics or probabilities because all the combinations have the same probabilities. But if you do it and you get a big award, give me feedback in my YouTube channel, please.